Hi, I'm Josh with the Lincoln Electric Company, and I'm here to tell you a little more about the PowerMig 210MP. One of the most unique features of this machine is the user interface. So I want to take a few minutes and explain to you the basic features and how you can access all of its functionality. You'll notice in the top corner we've got the wire feed speed and amperage control. On the adjacent side we have the voltage control, which also functions as an on-off control when you're in stick and TIG mode. In the bottom left corner, we've got our home button. No matter where you navigate to in the user interface, you can always return to the main selection screen using the home button. This center knob is used not only to make changes, but also as a selection knob as you're navigating the user interface. And on the bottom right, we've got the back arrow. Anytime you navigate through this step-by-step -step user interface, you can take a step back and make adjustments based on what you're welding. We're going to go ahead and turn the machine on and talk a little bit more about some of the adjustments we can make both while welding and prior to welding. You'll notice the machine intuitively recognizes that it's currently plugged into 120 volt input. Whether you're plugged into 120 or 230, the machine itself will sense that and adjust based on what kind of input voltage you have. Before we start looking at some of the weld procedures, we're going to rotate all the way to the right to our settings menu. I want to walk you through a few of the basic settings that are available. We're going to use the center knob to navigate and then when we get to what we want to use, we're going to push that center knob in to actually select it. So you'll notice the first thing I've selected here is units. You have access to both English and metric units. Depending on where you're at and regional variances, you can use either. I'm going to use this back knob to take a step back. Rotating over one selection, we have language. The machine is set up with both English, Spanish, and French. So depending on where you're at and what language you speak, you have the ability to rotate through any of those. Brightness, depending on visibility and where you're working, you might find it necessary to turn the brightness level down of the actual user interface. So if you're in a very dark area and you find that it's bothering you, you can turn it down. But for most cases, we leave it all the way up. General information about the machine and a factory reset. If you ever make any adjustments and you can't quite figure out how to get it back to where you were, you can always use the factory reset to take the machine back to its factory settings and erase anything you might have changed in its memory. The first process we're going to walk through is one of the more common uses of this machine. It's going to be MIG welding with mixed gas. So you'll notice out of our selection process here, the first selection is MIG Steel C25. There's a couple other options I'll briefly walk through. We have MIG Steel optimized for pure CO2 manual CV mode, which is going to allow you to adjust the machine to whatever settings you want based on your electrode. Flux cord, so if you're welding with a gas shielded or a self shielded flux cord wire, you can choose flux cord. Spool gun aluminum, if you're welding aluminum, obviously you'd want to use a spool gun with this. We recommend the Magnum Pro 100 SG spool gun. Stick, obviously stick welding, TIG welding, and the settings menu we've already discussed. Now that we've gone over the user interface, in the next video, we're going to show you how to set up a basic MIG weld using mixed gas.